Good evening, friends. Here I am again to, sh to talk about, about God's teachings to us. God is our almighty God, our creator of everything in this world. After the fall of the first humans, Adam and Eve, the world is overwhelmed by a sinful condition. It is this condition that affects peace and happiness among people. Our relationship with God and with others was broken. We need to be reconciled with God through the sacraments, through the sacrament of reconciliation or confession. We cannot receive Holy Communion if we have a mortal sin. Though sin separates us from God, He did not abandon us. He wants to bring us back to Him through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, His Son. Through Him, our broken relationships with the Father is restored. Jesus helps us to respond to God's love again through His Holy Spirit and the Church. The Church presents us, presents to us the roots of man's sinfulness. This is called the seven capital sins, which Christians are called to be aware of and understand for this. Are, these are the obstacles in doing good. The Church presents to us the roots of man's sinfulness. This is called the seven capital sins which Christians are called to be aware of and understand. For these are the obstacles in doing good. Number one, pride. Pride is thinking high about ourselves beyond what is true. Number two, anger, uncontrolled emotion. Number three, lust, sexual pleasure. Number four, gluttony, too much eating and drinking. Five, envy, desiring the good fortunes and talents of others. Six, covetousness, desiring what belongs to others. And seven, sloth, laziness. The seven capital sins definitely destroy our loving relationship with God and others. The root of these seven capital sins is self-centeredness. A person who only thinks of himself, his own satisfaction and happiness can never learn to love. Sin is a refusal to do God's will and, they will, and the will of God is to love. The will of God is to love. A good followers of Christ, we are called to avoid evil and do the good. We can be faithful to the calling if we, number one, avoid places, persons, and events that can be occasion to sin. Number two, follow and obey the advices of parents, teachers, and others in authority. Number three, go out with good friends and companions. Four, receive the sacraments, often especially the Holy Eucharist and Reconciliation. Five, pray always, without ceasing. Jeff will tell you a story about the girl who has um, pride, so much pride about herself. But later on, she becomes or she she, uh, she develops humility and she is now a better girl better person
Pride. May babaeng nagngangalang Erica. Isang araw may nakita siyang batang pulubi at nilait niya ito. Sabi ni Erica, ang baho mo naman bata para kang basurahan. At napayoko na lang ang batang pulubi at sabi pa ni Erica, mabuti pa ako kasi marami kaming pera, bahay at lupa. Marami rin kaming mga mamahaling kotse at pinagyabang niya ito. At saka siya umalis ng inis na inis dahil ang baho daw ng batang pulubi. Kinaumagaan ay pumunta siya sa pupuntahan niya. At di niya namalayan na may bato na nakaharang sa dadaanan niya. At nadapa siya at pagdapa niya nakita siya ng batang pulubi. Nanilait niya kahapon at nang nagsalita ang batang pulubi. Tulungan ko po kayo ate at nagsalita rin si Erica. Bakit mo ako tutulungan hindi ka pagalit sa ginawa ko kahapon at sumagot ang batang pulubi? Na hindi po ate, hindi po ako galit sa nangyari. At tinulungan niya tumayo ang babae at saka pinasalamatan siya ng babae. Hayaan mo at ako naman ang tumulong sa iyo. At pinakain niya ng tinapay ang bata at nagsalita. Dahil sa iyo bata, natutunan ko na maging... Huwag maging mayabang, huwag mang lait ng iba at tulungan ang nangangailangan ang wakas. Action pa sexy. Isang umaga, lumakad na lumakad si Erika. Papunta ang garden. Ewan ko kung saan siya pupunta. Pero ang nagpa-sexy, naka-short. So tingnan mo, ang puti ng paa. Wow! At naka nakasalubong niya. Isang pulubing lalaki. Huwag kang umawak wow. sa akin kasi mayaman kami, marami kaming pera, marami kaming bahay at may mamahalin kaming kotse. Huwag kang lumapit sa akin, ang baho mo. Hala, ang yabang-yabang niya. Naku, saan siya pupunta sa garden? Anong gagawin, Anong gagawin niya dyan? Naku. Scene 3. Kinaumagahan, lumakad naman si Erica patungo sa mall. Along the way, ay, naku, nadapa ang magandang at saka mayabang na babae. Bakit mo ako tutulungan? Oh. Di ka pagalit sa ginawa ko kahapon? Hindi. Salamat, bata. Halika at ako naman ang tumulong sa'yo. Ano Ay, mami, yung bakukat. Tinulungan siya ng batang lalaking pulubi. Hindi ka sa ginawa ko kahapon. Salamat bata dahil tinulungan mo akong makatayo. Halika, ako naman ang tutulong sa'yo. Papakainin kita ng tinapay. Kut! Umuwi si Erika sa kanilang bahay at kumuha ng tinapay para pakainin ang batang pulubi oh, na gutom na gutom. gutom ka. Salamat. Ito ang, kainil, ito ang pinag-usapan nila. Bata! Salamat kasi tinulungan mo akong magbago ang aking ugali. Hindi na ako naging sakim at marunong na akong tumulong sa iba. At di na ako manglalait ng iba. Salamat talaga bata. Mukhang gutom na gutom ka kasi di ka nagsasalita. Mm -hmm. Natuto na si Erika maging ma 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 mapagmahal sa kapwa. Um, at hindi na siya mayabang. At mapakumbaba na siya. Sige, at na marunong bata. siya ang tumulong sa kanyang kapwa. Bumait siya. At saka hindi na siya talagang nagyabang ng kanilang bahay na talawa talaga. Be humble and you will be exalted. Learn from Jesus Christ. Jesus is meek and humble.